So tell us about this. This um, what is it? A fish wing, Mercedes? A fish wing. Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, thank you for skimming. No, it's the Roadster version of the Gull Wing Mercedes. And what's interesting is that sports car manufacturers are having to deal uh, with uh, em emissions controls, and your engines are getting smaller. They're getting turbocharged. You really don't. Uh, find as many cars with that big, brassy, you know, end of days roar. Well, this car uh, has definitely got that. It's very appealing. And Dan, we're looking at, uh, I think, images of you circling around a cul-de-sac. You really should take it more, um, you know, for a better spin next you're time. But, but anyway, you're, you're doing a really nice cul-de-sac swing there, my friend. But it's a loud yeah. car, you say. Very loud? Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty loud, too. And now this is interesting, too, because with sports cars, you have optics. I mean, do you want to be the guy seen driving the Corvette? And in this case, you have a car. It's auditories, right? Do you want to be heard driving this car? Because I got to tell you that not everyone is universally re rejoicing at your, you know, crackling Laker pipes on this uh, Mercedes. No, this is a huge, sorry, go on, no, you, you were about to jump in. This yeah. has got a huge engine and it's 6.2 liters. Yeah. And you said, um, hands-built, high-track, dry sump, aluminum, yes. misspelling there, magnesium, the smartest, most optimized eight cylinders in the Mercedes repertoire. I'll forget to put the eye in the aluminium. And, and then it appeals to the nethermost parts of the male reptilian brain. I just had to get that in there. That, the that's nethermost right. parts. <laughs> And I'm uh, being an iguana myself. I find that really appealing. How much? How much does it cost? Uh, it's a 200 grand. You know, cool if you want the fancy brakes a little bit more. You know, you can have your uh, family tartan put in it for extra if you like, Simon. <laughs> who's the audience for this car? I mean, what, who, who's buying it? <laughs> uh, you know, the guy who buys this car is, uh, goes through a lot of cars. He's bored. He's got a lot of uh, you know free money laying around. He'll trade it. He'll do. But uh, I think that's unfortunate because this really is a car for uh, dis discerning people, not just guys with fat wallets. <laughs> not guys with fat wallets. So, Dan, I estimate that you were driving in the fo footage we saw. You were driving about seven miles an hour. Is that the that top speed you got it to? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's, uh, uh, you know, I, I, the usual speeds, you know, I, I took it upstairs for a few minutes, but uh, nothing uh, irresponsible. And uh, that is another problem. That's why the sound is so important, because if you can't drive fast in the U.S., at least you can sound like you're driving fast. Wait, and you, you said you jotted down OMG throttle steer. Uh, yeah. W explain these little notes. Well, uh, throttle steer is how you can control the uh, the yaw of the car in a corner with the throttle. Off throttle, weight forward, tail comes around. On throttle, tail stops, rotation, you get on it, you come out of the corner. Uh, and a car that does that, so that's easy and free and uh, you can you can do that uh, without fear, that's a great handling car. Okay, that, that, is, a that is a great handling car. Um, to, to you, does this have all the European heritage that you would want out of a Mercedes, which is what I, I would require from a sports car that I can't afford? I think this is the best car they make. And frankly, I'm not crazy about a lot of their other cars, uh, especially stylistically. Since Gordon Wagner became the stylist, I'm not feeling it. But this car, this one car, uh, makes up for a multitude of sins. Yeah, I think it works just fine. BMW or Porsche, do they make anything you think is equivalent? No, not anymore. No, uh, this is a very special car with a very special uh, micro demographic segment uh, because it is a road. That's not what you want to hear when you're selling cars. Micro, micro demographic. I'm sure the people yeah, at Mercedes are having a heart failure now. Right, micro. <laughs> micro demographic. I, yeah, I just love make it. sure you're referring to the demographics when you go. Micro. Oh, but, uh, thank nice. you, Daniel. Leaving with that one on, with that with on Friday. Bye. 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 Daniel of the Wall Street Journal in Raleigh, North Carolina.